Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the Bee Review Guy. I have a, uh, a Foster's today. I, uh, a while back I did the, um, the green can, which was the premium ale. It was 5.5% ABV. Um, it was really good. And I, had, I found this one here. So I wanted to do its brother. So, brewed in the U.S. Hey, with U.S. and imported ingredients. Um, June 13th of 2016. So it's nicely fresh. Found it in Australia over 125 years ago. During the summer of 1888, the Foster Brothers gave the thirsty people of Mel Melbourne their first taste of true refreshment, Australia's famous beer brand. Alright, I'm anxious to check this out. Now, um, I looked on Rate Beer and it says that this is 4.9% uh, 4, 4 ABV. Because uh, I can't, I couldn't find it on the can anywhere. So this is a one pint, nine point four fluid ounce. All right, let's check this thing out. Of course, I can't, can't get under the tab. That always happens when I don't have anything to use to get underneath the tab. This sounds good. Busy day at work. Busy day. Whoa. All right. Very, very carbonated. Big head there to start off with. Didn't know what to expect. When I was traveling a while back, going to Ohio to see my my nephew, we was always stopping off at little places like, uh, you know, truck stop slash convenience type stores. You know, this one uh, this one big convenience stores. It was a big truck stop also, and where the truckers could go in and take a shower and get cleaned up. You know, and they could rest. You know, out in their trucks and stuff and. Um, I always like finding different stuff, you know, when I'm traveling. I found this. I have a couple of um, uh, fellow reviewers that are that are truck drivers. Uh, Chris, a Hammerhead Reviews. Um, he's a trucker, and I think uh, my I think also uh, Dean Johnson at Dean's Beer Reviews. I believe I believe you're a truck driver too, aren't you, buddy? I can't remember, but I was wondering, do you guys, uh, do you guys have these in your truck, in your trucks, these tire thumpers? I thought this one was really cool. I got this for twenty dollars. It just, I guess you guys use it to, you know, tap your, to thump your tires to see if the air is, the air is uh, at a good range. Tire Thumper Road Pro, quality solid wood. I mean, it just looks like something you'd beat the crap out of some. <laughs> you just uh, use it for a, like a club also. But this here is nice. Uh, it's nice. So just wanted to show that off. See if you guys had one of those. All right. Let's see. Let's do the review now. A little corny, sweet, have that adjunct type aroma to it. This is the lager. I don't know if I told you that or not. The Foster's lager.
finger ahead now. Well, actually, two finger ahead. Um, very foamy, very soapy looking head on it right now. Bright white, glassy looking bubbles, golden straw color, clear, lightly carbonated appearance right now. Smells good. Let's check this thing out. Oh, man. That's good. It's good. Very uh, crisp and clean. Um, not really bitter. It's dry on the back end. Sweet up front. I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> Um, because the sweetness is the first thing I taste. Um, it's good. It's a good flavored beer. Um, like I said, kind of, you know, it has a, like a corny taste. Um, Lightly carbonated. Um, kind of earthy. Kind of earthy mouthfeel. Yeah. Man, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a good flavored beer. Um, <clears throat> if you want a big rundown on it and in history and stuff like that check out check out Ronald Terrio at uh, Louisiana Beer Reviews and he'll tell you all about this thing um, but this is a good flavored very good flavored beer after a hard day long day at work so if you have not tried the Foster's Lager check that thing out. I'm getting ready to eat dinner and this will go good with dinner. So, Alright, um, had another subscriber, um, Friar Tech. Thank you sir for your subscription. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, well I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to take my club to dinner. <laughs> Uh, all right, thanks for watching, and I hope you watch my next one, and uh, thanks for watching. Right, bye.